Would it surprise you to find out that one of the toughest rebels to ever grace this campus never played a down? Every step was a challenge, each word a trying task. Wiley Martin was a manager for the rebels during the Billy Brewer era and never let his cerebral palsy hold him back. What he dealt with every day, it made you quickly forget about your problems and and what you had to deal with on a daily basis because uh, every day of his life was a, was a challenge. I got invited with Dean Moorhead to go to the Vanderbilt game as a faculty uh, coach or faculty guest and walked into the Holiday Inn there and Wiley was waiting for me. So we walked outside and he fell down while we were walking. And I reached down to pick him up, to grab his arm, and he pushed my hand away. <laughs> and so you realize, I, you can't look at him as being different. You look at him as being the same as everybody else. And he was better than everybody else. Martin was one of the guys, and at times a more fearless version of his friends. But he had such a gentle soul about him. And, um, but when he was in that locker room on game day, he was an inspiration. He was trying to inspire you, and you just thought he was one of the guys. We had been down to Auburn in 85, and Bo Jackson, I don't know, ran up down the field. And we, were, we got destroyed. I think we had uh, one yard of total offense in the game. and We were all out there probably feeling sorry for ourselves, licking our wounds a little bit. And Offensive coordinator Coach McGraw walked up and, Wiley looked at him and he said, uh, Coach, I believe I could get one yard. <laughs> I'm not going to say what Coach McGraw said to him, but he got mad and walked off. Those players began to recognize that this was an exceptional person and they treated him like a teammate. You'd have thought he was a first a uh, first-team running back. Although college was a major challenge for Wiley, he knew the people that made Ole Miss special loved him back. He loved Ole Miss. He thought this was a place that helped him, and he knew it prepared him for his life. He was a rebel, and uh, he, it was just part, it was just, you know, the greatest years of his life was up here. Uh, he, he, that's what he always said. As the years went on and Wiley's health deteriorated, he knew his time was nearing an end. But to accomplish one last goal, he would reach out to the same people that made Ole Miss so special to him over three decades earlier. Day after my birthday, we drive down to Hattiesburg and we visit with Wiley. It was more than an hour. And as we said, now, Wiley, we have to go because we have to get back. And he said, um, well, I have one last dream, one last wish to, to see the pavilion. Jamie, Billy Brewer, give me a call. I, I got an idea. Uh, I, I ran into the dean of the journalism school this morning at breakfast. And... He gave me an idea and see if we can't get the school clean to come to Hattiesburg. If, if Wiley is, is up to it, maybe pick him up, bring him up here, and try to piece, piece it into something. Uh, maybe a basketball game or something. Uh, so one shot deal on this kid. I called Coach Brewer back and I said, Coach, he can't. He was going to try to see if we could get the, you know, the plane to come down and pick him up. And I said, I, I don't know how you get him in the plane. But when the siren call came for whatever it took to to get Wiley back um, through the Angel Air and uh, and and the flight, it, it didn't take it didn't take much at all. So we got on a call and I said, this is the deal. I said, you know, if we can raise eleven thousand dollars, we can get it done, and I think we can do that. And everybody agreed and thought we could do it. Everybody pitched in, and and in just a few days we had we had that money, a little more to to, to get it done. Oh, yeah. He 
loves everybody. <laughs> what an honor to have people who took over after I told them this fellow has this dream and they provided funds and they made it happen and then all these people came and made this guy feel like he was something special. How you like it? Come on, you see, you see your name play. on the screen? I would never, ever <laughs> have thought this. Yeah. Hey, there's one of these deals like, are you ready? There's one of these hotty hotty deals. Can you do that? Are you ready? Yep, always, always, brothers. brothers. Yep, <laughs> definitely. If he was part of your life at any point, he left an imprint, and uh, one that, that stays with me till this day. But God, he gave so much to all of us. I'm gonna be a grandma again in March, John Luke, so, I'm, so you better stick around so you can, a boy, John Luke, it's gonna be named. So you're gonna have your great, Great nephew. <laughs> Great nephew here. <laughs> David Wells. You've been an inspiration. Thank you for the good memories you've left me. And you went to class more than these other people. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> and he had that grin about him that the gang's all here. That's what it felt like to me when you see Wiley grinning in that bed. It was something that made you understand what life was about. Here was a guy very close to the end of his life, just loving his experience. We love you, miss you. No, I love you. Hurry back. Get your butt back up here. Don't let, don't let me have to come get you. I ain't gonna send my plane again for you, ass. <laughs> <laughs> you the man, thank you. Love you, big boy. All right, got you. Those things, they don't happen very often. I, I mean, I don't know if I'll ever see another uh, or experience another thing like that day. You can't explain it. If you weren't there, you didn't understand. Uh, it was probably one of the greatest things I've ever been associated with. That, I love you too, Like, Thanks for being here. The whole day made you feel like, I'd like to be like Wiley. <laughs> I would love to be as good and as tough and as caring as Wiley Martin. You're gonna have to hit the road. You got, what, you got something else you need to say? Always, always. For God, for in your life, every event I've, I did, I did.